I'm fixing to get my Ricky Bobby on. Hey, this is going to be one of my normal uh, product review uh, kind of videos. I was fortunate uh, first part of the month to be able to go to the Las Vegas Motor Speedway uh, as winner of a trip um, that was put on uh, through Watts and a company called Affiliated Dealers um, who we are associated with. Um, Affiliated Dealers is a buying group uh, for independent wholesalers and so they're a big part of our business and so I want to thank uh, George C. Sanders company uh, for letting me go and Watts for putting it on and our local rep uh, manufacturers rep for Watts and that's Rep Masters so was able to go uh, to this trip to Las Vegas uh, myself and my buddy Mike Deffenbaugh and uh, we were able to drive a NASCAR 150 miles an hour. Awesome. Awesome. So here I'm going to do a little walkthrough video with me sitting in a car, drive around the track, and at the very end, uh, here I thought I was going fast, got put in a car with, uh, with a pro driver, and he went even faster than 150 miles an hour. So check it out. All right, I'm going to start out with me sitting in the car. Now, I speeded out this portion of the of the clip, and I'll tell you that. I'll tell you why here in a second. But we all sat through a 30-minute uh, um, classroom of getting in the car, what we're supposed to be doing in the car, safety, uh, introduced us to the five-point harness. We got our racing suits on. Um, let's see. They explain going around the track. Basically, if they can't hear you, you can't hear them. You are a liability because there's cars going around 150 plus miles an hour. You got uh, pro drivers. You got a mix of people like me who's never been in a race car. So it's, it's all about safety. It's all about safety. Now, there's a little walkie-talkie button on the little steering wheel, and you'll see me try click 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 see right there and I'm talking to basically our spotter and that's somebody that he's telling me um, what RPM to stay at um, whether or not to dip down if there's gonna be a faster car coming up on me or to speed up if I'm coming up on a slower car now my first little lap, I had to bring it back in because, like I said, the spotter, I could not understand him at all. And you'll hear that here in a second. Again, it's all about safety. They can't hear you, you can't hear them, you're a liability. Alright, right, we just check Yeah, I can't hear him at all. It's all no, I, he's staticky to me, so I'm gonna have him change his radio. I'm gonna check for radio too. Okay, okay. Hey, uh, can you try to change your radio? Because you're staticky even to me. I'm gonna. This is his radio in the car. Yep. Alright. So once he gets it all clear, we'll get you back out there. Your radio's fine. I hear you. He does not have a bad radio. Happen. All right. So when the net goes up, you're ready to go. And basically the whole idea is you never change gears. You just get the fourth gear and you stay in that fourth all right, gear all around the racetrack. Alright, so go to hold down that clutch and we'll get you back out there. Go ahead and put it back in first gear.
So note the little white marks in the racetrack. We're supposed to keep our car within those white marks. That's your perfect line going around the track. And this whole time the spotter's talking to me, telling me what RPM he wants me to stay at. There's no speedometer in the car. set up with a rev limiter at 5,000 RPM, so we couldn't go over 5,000 RPM. The engine would start cutting out.
car is telling me, okay, that was checkered flag. Checkered flag, so start bringing the car back in. Drop to the apron. He'll tell me to start checking your brakes. Do a little pump on the brakes. So that's the first eight laps. Woo! Alrighty, ready to go back out there? Alright, so go ahead and hold down that clutch. Again, it's gonna be loud. He's gonna be talking to his other students, so just ignore that until he calls the car number 24. He may also call you by your name. Once he calls on you, just do that radio check again with him, and then he'll let you know when to go ahead and relax. Alright? So at this point, I'm basically a pro. <laughs> and so by the time I hit fourth gear, I realized I didn't have my uh, both hands on the steering wheel. So take a little note of that. So I hit fourth gear. I keep my hand up on the gear shift knob, and I'm just tooling around on one hand on the wheel. Which I go, oh wait, I need to put both hands on the steering wheel.
this point, and we did have a choice to drive with the pro driver first to get a feel for it, or just go out and drive first. I want to go out and drive first because I was too amped, and I kind of want to get over with. At this point, I wasn't even sure that I wanted to drive with the pro driver because, heck, to me, I'd already done all I could do. But I did go ahead and get out of the car and go, well, I'm here to experience the whole bit, so I'll climb in the car with the pro driver. Check it out. Now, revving the motor, completely optional. But it, let's just say it's a kick in the ass. They did tell us if we burn out, they'd kick us off the track, so there was none of that. Awesome, dude. Awesome. Alright. Alright. So just leave forward from you real quick. I'll get those Hans off you. This makes it a lot easier to get out. Now check out this seat. Right. Check out this seat and first, envision a shoehorn because basically that's what it is. Yep. I was wedged in this thing. Yep. Look at that. Okay, so the pro driver, this is all he does all day long, is run around on a racetrack giving people rides. What a kick ass job. How you doing? What's your name? Now note, I can't hear his... I can't hear him at all. <laughs> Motor's going. I'm hard of hearing anyway. I couldn't hear him say boo. chance for a photo op. Okay, know the difference.
kick-ass ride. What a kick-ass day I had that day. So I really want to thank Watts, AD, Rep Masters, and George C. Sanders for putting it all together. Had an awesome time. I got to do it with my, my buddy, my Def Ball, regional manager for George C. Sanders. Kick ass, kick ass day. As I always say, now go be awesome. <laughs> <laughs>